ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Special Attack. Today we're taking a look at Disney Infinity 2.0 Marvel Super Heroes. Um, I really am enjoying my time with this game now. I have the Avengers playset set up here. Uh, I have my Captain America figure on the sand, as you can see. And um, yeah, let's just let's just dive right into it. Let me try and find a mission here. Um, so one of the first things I like to say about this whole experience. Now, I I posted an unboxing video of the collector's edition, which I I pre-ordered from GameStop, and I got uh. Lots of cool stuff. I was really happy with the Collector Edition. I'll post the link to that video in the description down below if you care to watch that. But, um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. I really enjoy all the figures. I like the Marvel stuff. I like collecting stuff. So, that that alone had me. Just, just the opportunity to collect Marvel gear really had me. I'm looking for a vehicle here to get us to this mission a little faster, but we'll find one soon. Um... And, you know, I, I was hooked on that alone, and then I got into the game a little bit here, and I wasn't quite sure what to expect. I had never played Skylanders, which is another figure-based, like, toy platform kind of game. Uh, and I had never played Disney Infinity 1.0. So I'll continue in just a second. Let's set up a mission right here. Let's try a heavy dilemma. I need your team's help getting a new power source to our safe zone. It'll help us expand our attack against the ice. Okay. A big, strong Avenger to carry the power source to our safe zone. So, um, yeah, I, I didn't really know what to expect. So I just was kind of going in with an open mind, and um I will say this. I really am enjoying this. It's it's a lot of fun. It's a it's just a good game to shut your brain off to and kind of like zone out and just have a good time. It's very much like the wow, I didn't know I could do that. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. <laughs> Uh, as I was just about to say, as you just saw right there, it actually makes my point quite well, is that, um, it's a lot like the Lego games. It's a lot like Lego Marvel, specifically, where, um, as you can see, I'm just running through things. Nothing's really stopping me. I'm able to get to my mission and not really have to worry about being the best driver in the world, uh, which I like. It's just, like, silly cartoon fun, and the combat is actually really satisfying, which I was, like, kind of surprised by because, I don't know, I, was, I wasn't expecting, like, too much... Too much of crazy combat. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing here. I wasn't expecting, um, like, any kind of crazy combat mechanics from, uh, uh, what's sort of, sort of meant to be a kid's game, right? So, but the combat's really satisfying. We'll, we'll get into some of that soon. I just want to start off by, um, you know, saying some of my thoughts about the game. Here we go, right here. Now, you have a few different moves, uh, with each, with each one of your figures. So, you, you have a basic attack move which is just like this right here, and if you string together a combo, he'll kind of give off this, you know, very, like, special sort of attacks. And then he has a ranged move, too. Um, I believe all the characters do. So I can charge that up, and his rain captain's uh, ranged move, obviously, is his shield ricochet, which just bobs through enemies to enemies. And then you can also do an aerial attack, where you just kind of jump and then ground pound like that. So those are the basic moves. Um, now there is a level up system, which which I haven't delved too deep into yet. I've been really busy playing a lot of other things and recording a lot of other content. But um, yeah, there is a level up system. There are abilities that you can level up and skills that you can level up. But as well as I think uh, special attacks, which I have not actually unlocked yet. It seems like I know you collect these. If you look to my left right here, there's a purple jar right there, and if you if you unlock those and collect all the orbs that come out of them, then you uh, receive this sort of like purple pile of orbs, and that's supposed to deliver some kind of a special move, but I haven't been able to pull one off yet. Um, I'll break this open so you, so you can see what I'm talking about. That stuff right there, you collect those and that's supposed to charge up your special move, but I don't know if I just don't know how to use it, or if I'm just not able to use it yet. I'm not really re not really quite sure about that yet. Um, so yeah, it's a lot like the Lego Marvel games, and there's like little fun, not fun, I won't say so much. The side missions are like kind of dull. There's like the little racing side missions. There's, you know, uh, like 
break all the items as fast as you can. There's those kinds of side missions. They're 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 what they are. But I am enjoying the combat and I am enjoying the main missions. Now, if you're unfamiliar with these types of games like I was, what what you get is these little play packs and it comes with its own set of missions. So, for example, I got the collector's edition which came with the starter pack. Now that gave me all of the uh, Avengers content. I have a whole Avengers set of missions to play through and this whole city to play in. As well as a Thor card, which gave me a different set of Thor missions in Thor's world. So, that's kind of how it works. But, uh, yeah, I am still just kind of getting my beak wet here. And I'm having a lot of fun, I gotta tell you. I, I, I really like this. And I mentioned in my unboxing video that I know this was sort of meant to be like a, a kid's game, but, I mean... Who says, you know, I'm, I'm having a really good time playing it and I don't regret buying this for myself personally. I don't have any kids, so this is this was bought just for me. I'm only 25, uh, so yeah, I, I don't have any kids, but this is, a, this is a fun game. I have no shame in saying that I'm really enjoying it. I don't know, I, I know I'm not exactly their demographic, but I just don't care, you know? It's a lot of fun. So there you saw we unlocked something in our toy box. Now your toy box is a free ranged mode where you can build and create your own world to play around in. I haven't really delved too deep into that yet and I don't uh, intend on displaying that in special attack just because I'm actually going to um, be doing a weekly series where we're going to play inside of the toy box in this game. So while we have this break in a mission, why don't I show you the uh, skill tree real quick for Captain America and then we'll check out a new figure. So what you do is you go into one of these four basic perks or abilities or what have you. So this one right here is, a, is, a, is an attack move. I, uh, I haven't touched that yet. I'm going to get that one next. This was a, a defense move, and once you have that, you can kind of go down the tree there for whatever you want to get. This right here is health, and then to the left we have a mid-air recovery. Um, so I first started off with defense, and I started kind of heading down this path right here. This gave me the shield strike. This gave me an upgraded shield strike, which was able to ricochet amongst enemies. And then this is an upgrade that I guess, let's see what this one does. Increased rain damage. Okay, so it just does more damage from further away. So, you know, it's pretty basic. You can kind of see what, what uh, you get from from a sort of a basic level up system. Um, let's see what we want to do here with Cap, actually. Super Soldier Speed. I think that'll come in handy. Why don't we get that? Because he runs kind of slow. But, you know, it is cool that you can level up each one of your figures and it carries, once you take your figure off the platform that comes with the game, or that comes with the starter pack, rather, you, you're all set. You're good to go. You can just kind of... Bad guys don't take a vacation, rookie. Let's go. Just wanted to not interrupt Fury over there. So, yeah, you can just kind of, um... He doesn't really seem faster to me for some reason, though. I don't know, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Maybe he's just a little faster, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, you can take your figure off like so. I'll just pop him off right there. And then he'll disappear. He's kind of in midair waiting, waiting to see what I'm going to do, if I'm going to put him back or not. And then once you take him back on, the level Travis with that figure. It's locked onto the memory. So, you see, there he is. He's back, and he's level 6. He's all good to go. He's got the same experience, same upgrades. So why don't we pop on my man? What's it going to be? Iron Man! This is actually the first I've played with Iron Man, so this is actually pretty exciting. Now this is cool right here, you don't need a vehicle, you see? This is what I wanted to show off, is that each character is different. Iron Man flies, so obviously in the game he's going to fly. I, I, that, that wasn't intended to happen right there. I'm still getting my bearings with this game, but it's cool that, that there's like this much freedom in this kind of game. I'm just going where whatever I want to do right now. So we can just go over and fly to the mission now, Iron right, Man. You can just take you can take those characters off and switch them out if you want to fly to place to place, uh, whenever you want. And then say I wanted to still play as Captain America, I could just change out as Captain America once I get here, just so it's easier to travel that way. But I'm actually gonna check out some Iron Man skills real quick. So you know, I think that's really cool, and I just like the whole package here. I, I like the idea of leveling up each figure, and I like that the stats stay with that figure. I also just really enjoy that they're so diverse. Um, as for the toy box, I'm not really sure just what to say about that yet, because I haven't really delved into it yet. Um, and, you know, 
as I explained many times before, I, I, I'm not looking to give a review for these games. I don't really want to put a score on them because there's just... I, I, I don't think it's fair to score an entire game, I should say, in, unless I played the entire game. So, Special Attack is just kind of meant to give an overview. It's my opinion. It's how I feel about what I've played so far. It's not supposed to be the entire package. Um, so, you know, take it for what you will. But yeah, I haven't played with the toy box yet because, like I said, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be doing some stuff with that. But uh, I do like the game. I like the game a lot, and I'm having a good time with it. And it seems like there's a whole lot to do, and it seems like there's a whole lot to expand on once you um once you get more figures going and you unlock more abilities and more playsets. Now I do have about seven figures, I believe. I, I got six with the collector's edition, and then I was given an extra one uh, for pre-ordering. GameStop. Sorry, I got a little distracted right there. That's cool. But yeah, they, they definitely all play very differently, and I'm really enjoying that. I'm really enjoying the world and the playsets. So that's all I can say. I can't really tell you too much about the uh, toy box just yet, but if you guys subscribe, you'll see lots more of the toy box gameplay uh, coming up very soon. Where are we at? What do we got going here? My Iron Man's only level one, so try not to judge me with him. Or, or don't judge him either. It's not his fault. This is the first time I've even used this, this figure, so... Let's see what we can do. I think this, I think that's all I got right now. I haven't really leveled up at all. Um, but I yeah, I, I really like Iron Man. I like how different it, it really it, you really get a sense of how different the flying type characters are compared to let's say a Captain America or a, a Hulk I played with briefly, and boy was that ever different. Let's collect this over here. What you just saw there is able to unlock a digital version of that character in this playset. So if I have that figure, I can use him in this playset even though that that character didn't come with this playset, if that makes sense. There are a lot of rules to follow, but, you know, it's it seemed like a lot to me too, but once you once you dive in, it's really not that complicated at all. And, and I think this is intended for kids, so remember, they, they're not going to try to make this, like, super complicated for anyone to understand. Just as a little... It's a lot to learn at first. We're gonna take out this punk though. Don't sweat him at all. Get out of here. I think this will probably be a good opportunity to check out uh, another figure, actually. Maybe not in the middle of combat. But maybe after we beat these fools up, we'll check out our last one. I don't want to give away everything, I just want to show you guys some of the variation in the game. As you see, it seems kind of repetitive at first. It's just because you haven't leveled up. I thought this... I was a little bit worried when I started playing this because Captain America kind of felt that way. And then once I got some level ups, I started really having fun. So, don't don't let this seem, like, too mundane to you just yet. Because it is a lot of fun once you, once you get going. So, we're going to pop Iron Man off real quick and we're going to head into our last figure, which is... Oh yeah, he's mean, he's green, he's the Incredible Hulk. The Incredible Hulk is actually not even available right now. He's only available if you get the Collector's Edition of the game, which is only available on PlayStation 4, which is the version I'm playing, which I forgot to mention. I always forget to mention which version of the games I'm playing. I gotta get better at that, you guys. But yeah, he's exclusive to the Collector's Edition Excuse me, of PlayStation 4. So, uh, you can't find him in stores just yet. You will be able to eventually, to my understanding, is he'll be available in a playset or, or as, as a single figure sale. Um, but not quite yet. Come on, Beefcake. What you got? Can't even move me. So that's interesting. So the bigger characters don't get thrown around quite as easily. Which is cool because it's just another way that everything feels a little bit more different in this game. We're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with this guy. If I was Iron Man or Cap, he would just have thrown me away real quick, but... 
Not today, Frost Giant. Not today. That's key, I think. That's key, I think, to this game. I think that's key to their sales of the action figures or the toys, whatever you want to call them. And I think it's key to the longevity of, of a series like this is because if kids are buying toys or whoever, people like me are buying these toys to display, which, which you know, that's really one reason I, I like it is because it's, it's a cool collectible to have. But when I'm playing the game, I want them to feel different. Otherwise, what the hell am I spending money on all these different action figures for so yeah I'm glad they delivered on that for sure it feels really good each each different character feels really diverse excuse me I'm all, I'm all I'm all tongue today I can't say anything um, but it looks like we're about to clean up these fools and then the mission should probably come to an end pretty soon so let's do work smash but yeah so my overall thoughts of this game it's really good I won't say it's great but, like I said, I haven't played the whole thing. I, I, I haven't even scratched the surface. I played a very little bit yesterday b between recording things. And then I played a little bit before this just so I could really wet my feet to tell you guys a little bit more about the game. So, it's a lot of fun, though. I, I love it. And I'm really excited to play more of this. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of starting a weekly series on this involving, who knows, maybe I'll do the missions, maybe I'll do the toy box, maybe I'll do a little bit of everything. I'm not really sure yet, but this isn't the last you'll be seeing of this game. It's, it's going to be popping up uh, on my channel here uh, in the next days, possibly weeks to come. So and we'll see where it goes from there. But I'm excited. I don't regret the purchase. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play this. Let's get this guy over here. Womp. See you, son. Now, if I didn't like Marvel so much, I can't honestly tell you how much I would have liked this game. Because, I don't know, like, like that's why I'm not really comfortable giving games review scores. Because I don't review them, I don't know what your tastes are, I don't know what your, what your interests are. I can just tell you how I feel about them based on my likes and my interests. And I love Marvel and I'm really liking this game because of it, so... It's up to you to decide how much you would like this uh, if Marvel wasn't involved. But the fact is they are involved and it's it's really cool to collect them and they're really fun to play with in the game. And they definitely are alluding that there's a there's a big future to this. They hint at possible future characters which we can see right here. Seems like there's Captain Marvel right there if I'm not mistaken. Or Miss Marvel, I forget who that is. But um yeah, it's pretty awesome. So why don't we finish up as the Hulk right here. Yeah, we have Captain Marvel available in the toy box now. So like I said, you'll 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 be seeing a lot more of the toy box in the future. Um, but I gotta keep this kind of short today. So that's gonna be the last mission we check out. I hope I hope you guys feel like you got somewhat of a good look at this game. And remember. Keep keep it right here because if you feel like you wanted to see the other modes and the other things there are to do, you will very, very soon. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Special Attack. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel so you can catch more Disney Infinity content as well as all my other stuff. FPS Fridays coming at you every Friday as well as all, all the other videos I'm doing uh, coming up. So, yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all very, very soon.